Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at Kincaid Stadium in Dallas. Here with the head coach of the South Oak Cliff Golden Bears, Coach Jason Todd. After a 31-17 win over uh, Kimball, the Kimball Knights in a hard-fought game. Congratulations, Coach. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming, too. All right, Coach. Uh, first half, Kimball came out. They, they, they played inspired football. I think they may have played their best half of the year. Uh, took a 10-0 lead on you guys uh, and, and, and took a lead into, into the locker room at halftime. But I thought the second half, you guys came out uh, a different ball club. Uh, at halftime, were there any adjustments made, or was it more a matter of your kids just executing uh, the scheme a little bit better? Uh, well, there was some slight adjustments in the blocking scheme and things like that. Uh, but the biggest thing that we told them was that Kimball's going to come to play tonight, and, and, and we knew that. So, you know, at the end of the day, I was glad because it was a good test for our kids, you know, to get us ready for the playoffs. And we've been in these situations before. Skyline games start the year off. You know, we were down 14 at halftime. So our kids understand at halftime is about making adjustments, not quitting and come playing a better second half than the first half. You came out the second half and uh, first drive, you scored a touchdown, took the lead and made it 14-10. And I thought after that, you, you guys really kind of seized control of the game. Uh, I thought the, the, the kickoff return from Raphael yeah. to open the second half, yeah. give you guys good field position was, was really key. Uh, how important was that drive to, to take that lead in the second half? Half. Oh, it's good. You know, I always judge a good coaching staff and a good team, number one off, how do they come out after halftime? Because that's normally where all the coaches come from, from adjustments, see what the team does. You know, our thing in the locker room was we need to impose our will on them, and that's why you saw us, you know, put our linebackers and running back some, you know, let them get some banging going on to free up when Cameron Davis and uh, McKeevy and Titus get it, where it'll be some more natural creases to them. So, you know, we're just telling everybody has a part to uh, in shouldering the load with this team, and everybody got to step up when it's their turn. I thought your defensive line was outstanding. They really got the, – the, you made them one-dimensional. They, they were not able to throw the ball consistently. Their quarterback was under a lot of pressure. And I thought in the second half, uh, they have a really good running back over there. The Epton kid is a really good player. Yeah, but I thought you guys really did a good job containing him in the second half as well. How big was your defensive line and how big have they been for you guys all year? Uh, the biggest thing was, uh, you know, Coach uh, you know, uh, Coach Demon over there, he did some good things in the blocking scheme to neutralize some of the things in the first half that caused us some problems in our run fits. Uh, the biggest thing was we just sat down and made some slight adjustments to our defensive line and linebacker fit. And then I think that was the biggest deal at the end of the day. But that Epton kid, you know, uh, he showed tonight that, that he could be a big-time player. All right, now you guys are uh, hopefully – I know you, the expectations here are not just to win any district title. Yeah. You guys want to win a lot of playoff games, make deep runs, and become regional contenders. Uh, you guys are, are, are heading into the playoffs. Yeah. How important is it for you guys to be peaking going into the postseason? Uh, it's always key for us. You know, we always start to hit our stride late in the season. You know, we start out with some tough teams, then we go through a little patch, and then we understand now it's, it's about to be win, you know, win or you go home forever, you know, especially for the senior guys. Uh, you know, our biggest thing is just about getting better and making sure our best game is the game ahead of and not the game behind us. All right, final question. You Thursday night, you got, you got to win. So now Friday, kids are back at school. It's always a better day when you have a, a Friday a Friday night at school when you get a win. Uh, tomorrow, you going to scout. What, what's what's the plan for you and your coaching staff tomorrow as you kind of start to look ahead towards potential playoff opponents? Uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll evaluate the film front of the night with the kids and go over things, uh, take them through a weightlifting session. We'll meet for a little while as a coaching staff, and then we're going to you know kind of branch out and go to some different games and kind of split up you know to go get some eyes on some different people in our region. You know, one thing that I know about our region, you got a Lido, and then everybody else after that, you know, has the pedigree to have a chance, you know, after Lido. Lido's, is, you know, the only one that's perennial power year in and year out. Everybody else is all fighting for that crown to be the next contender. So, you know, we understand that, and, and, and that's the road that we're ready to relish. Coach, uh, enjoy uh, scouting tomorrow. Hopefully you got even the coaches uh, eat some good food on the road tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope they do too. <laughs> yeah, they just got to be there on time. There you go, Coach. Congratulations. All right, thanks a lot. All right.